Hey guys, I hope you're all really well. Today I'm going to be doing a little Q&A style, sort of get ready with me. Just going to sit and chat through doing my makeup. Um, I'm really sorry I haven't posted a video in two weeks. I've just been super busy and very stressed with uni work. I have my deadline this week on Thursday, so yes, that is what is happening right now. So yeah, life has just been a little bit busy at the moment, so I've just put uni as a priority for the last two weeks and that is why there's been no videos so I'm really sorry about that but it was good for me to just focus on getting work done um, and now I can start filming more videos for you guys. I've also managed to just cut my thumb cutting up a melon so that is why I have a plaster on my thumb. <laughs> so let's find a question to kick off this video. I put up a post on my Instagram for you guys to ask me questions and I got a lot of questions. So one of the most frequently asked questions is how do you keep up with YouTube and have a full-time uni course? Um, well, I feel as though my record for this past two weeks is not a good <laughs> explanation as to why I managed or like how I managed to do it. Um, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I never used to struggle that much um, when I was at school but now that I'm at uni um, I do struggle a lot more, especially in second year. First year was okay because, you know, like, when the marks don't count and, like, you're not quite as worried about doing as well. But this year I've really struggled just to get uh, a good work-life balance. And, I mean, it's not easy. Like, I don't find it easy at all. But filming these videos is something that I really enjoy and it's just a nice break from doing uni work and it's still something creative like I always need to be doing something creative and I think it's just a good way for me to escape and just use my creative abilities for something else. <laughs> my nose is really dry at the moment you probably can't see it on the camera which is good but it's just all like it just flakes all the time and I can't stop it from doing that. I moisturise it all the time, I just do my normal routine and it just looks gross. I'm going to go in with some of the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. It's underneath my eyes and on my nose and try and get rid of <laughs> the dryness. I was finding that um, like an eyelid primer was working if I put it on my nose. It would like take the flakiness away a little bit but now I just, I don't know, just given up on my nose a bit. <laughs> Might do something a little bit different today with my makeup. I'm in a mood of just changing it up a little bit, you know. Might do a coloured smoky eye or something. I'm going to set my base with the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. This comes in such a good little pot. Like it's got a little compressor dome bit that just stops all of the stuff from coming out so you get like the perfect amount of product every time that comes out. So I take it on a big fluffy brush and just tap off any excess and then I just press it onto my skin. This plaster is making it like impossible to open any of my makeup products. <laughs> For bronzer I'm going to use the Too Faced Sun Bunny and I'm going to take it on this hourglass brush. I've been loving this brush. It's got a little tapered end and then a big bushy end. <laughs> I'm going to take it on the tapered end actually to start with and I'm just going to put it through the hollows of my cheeks and onto my actual cheeks. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take the big brush and just do a general all over bronze up of the face. So I'm super pale at the moment. Also, time management is just such an important thing to have um, doing any uni course, I feel like. So when I have good time management, I manage to get videos out. But um, I don't know, this summer I'm kind of freaking out a bit because I have a summer internship for three months, which is amazing. I'm really, really excited about it. But uh, I don't know when I'm going to get time to film. I'm going to have to just film the weekends but I'm going to be living in London for the whole of the three months in just like a little room I found. So that's really exciting news and I'll probably do some videos about my internship and my experience and everything like that if you guys are interested so 
yeah let me know um the blush i just used by the way was the benefit rocketeur i'm falling back in love with all of my benefit box blushes then to highlight today i'm going to use the becca prosecco pop this is like a really super intensive highlighter so i'm going to use my little fan brush to apply it just so i get it in the areas that i need it i'm going to try something else out for brows today i'm going to use the hourglass um, Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in the shade Soft Brunette. It's going to comb through my brows first. It doesn't really come out very strong, which I guess is a good thing. But it's a pretty good colour match, to be fair, for my brows. I tried the um, Revolution 3-Day Brow Tint because my friend Tabitha always uses it and she says it's really good. But I tried it out and it just did not work for my brows. Like, it just washed off straight away and it's meant to last for three days and you have to leave it on your brows for like two hours and it just didn't work for me which was super annoying makeup products work differently on everyone i'm gonna find another question before i fill in the other brow someone wants me to film a video with my sister and you guys know that will never happen <laughs> Oh, I quite like this question. Do you remember the exact moment you fell in love with fashion design and realised it was a passion you wanted to pursue? I knew from a very young age that I wanted to do fashion design. Um, I used to make little clothes for my Barbie dolls when I was about... I don't know how old I was, but I was very young. And I can still like really vividly remember the moment that I like first tried to sew a needle <laughs> and I was I was sat in my sister's room and we were on the floor and I found her little sewing kit thing she had this little wooden box that like opened out and there was a needle in it so I took some thread out and I tried to thread the needle and I it probably took me about 15 minutes to thread the needle <laughs> and I think I had to go and ask mum for help to thread the needle but I still really remember that moment I don't know why and I've just always loved clothing and fashion and styling when I was little I went through the weirdest phases with clothing like I'd only wear green like even just green pants only green pants and everything else had to be green and then I went through a pink phase and everything had to be pink yeah I guess I've just always been really interested in fashion and then like when I got to secondary school I started reading Vogue all the time and just I just got really into it and I've always loved making things and making clothes. I just think it's such a rewarding thing to be able to do. Um, I find it is. It's so amazing like seeing something you've designed and then you've made it and then seeing it on an actual person is really cool. So yeah, I've known from a very young age that that is what I wanted to do. There were a few different options that I was thinking about instead of doing fashion design. One of the options was just to pursue doing YouTube full time, but then I just, I wasn't ready to just have a full time job and I didn't, I didn't feel like, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted something extra. Um, so that's why I came to uni and I've just always wanted to go to uni. It's just always been something that I've wanted to do with my life and even if I finish uni and do YouTube full time this was also one of the questions that you guys asked me is what I want to do after uni um, I may just do YouTube full time or I might go and do a job in fashion and still do YouTube like on the side I really just don't know what I'm doing to be honest I just know I'm enjoying uni like if I hadn't have come to uni I would not have met the friends I have now which makes me really sad to think about so I am just yeah I could not have not come to uni, I don't think. I'm going to set my brows with the Glossier Boy Brow. This product is probably my favourite thing at the moment. I like to just push my brows the opposite way first to get them, get them going. <laughs> and then I sort of just flick them up to the top and really just spread out the hairs and it just gives a really nice effect. So yeah, my hand it is on Thursday and I can't believe that I will have finished second year and next year is my last year at uni. Ah that is kind of terrifying me. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I think I'm going to do like a really warm smoky eye today so I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and I'm going to take the shade um, Chaser first which is here and I'm just going to put this all across my eyelid as a base and then I'm going to take low blow and I'm going to put this through my crease 
and sort of like on the outside of my eye. I always like to go in with a lighter shade first and just build up in intensity because I can often look very strange with <laughs> a lot of makeup on. So I have to do eyeshadow looks in stages. I could never go in with like a super super dark shade first, it would just would probably go very wrong. <laughs> I ordered the new Glossier um, mascara yesterday. So I'm excited to see what that's like when it arrives. I feel like I'm so picky with mascara so if it's good then I shall let you guys know. Um, but I also feel like mascara is such a personal thing. I'm also going to take that low blow shade on a little smaller brush and I'm going to take this underneath my eye just to balance out the look a bit. Let's find another question to answer. Someone has asked me where do you see yourself in 50 years? I don't even know where I see myself in one year, so um, I guess I just see myself as very old. <laughs> in 50 years I will be 70. 50 years is a long time now, so. Do you have any favourites, quick or easy meals for exam season at uni? I don't have exams, I just have deadlines, but I do have a few <laughs> just staple meals that I go for. Uh, my current favourite being frozen pizzas from Sainsbury's. <laughs> if you haven't tried the frozen pizzas from Sainsbury's that are like £1.30, they are so good. That, oh, just, yeah, they are really good. I could probably film a whole video on like meals I have at uni, um, but I kind of vary it quite a lot. Like my staple is probably a Thai curry, like I'll make it from scratch. Um, but... Yeah, apart from that, I make like lasagna, spag bol every now and then, like salmon and rice. I went through a phase of just eating like mashed potato and beans, <laughs> um, chicken nuggets. Oh. But yeah, sometimes I will be, if I'm being really, really lazy, I will order a takeaway and have like the remainder for the next few days. So yeah. When you guys ask me how do I keep in shape, <laughs> I'm not very good at answering that question. <laughs> and also when it gets to like a stressful point, I tend to do a lot of baking just to waste more time and stress myself out even more. But then it's okay because when I'm stressed, I just crave unhealthy food. And baked goods are just the one. Next up I'm going to take the shade On Fugo. I think that's how you say it. It's really weird name for an eyeshadow but hey ho and I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner and like close to my lash line I just make these things up really <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing I just put it there and then I'll just go in and blend it out with oh hello <laughs> whilst I'm doing this I'll answer another question what are your go-to outfits for going out I actually have a video on like jeans and a nice top going out outfit so I will link that down below if you guys want to see it but also at the moment my go-to thing has been like wide leg trousers and just like a little crop top or like a meshy sort of top something tight um, it's just super easy and I feel like wide leg trousers just look really cool and I love them at the moment. I can't actually remember the last time I've worn skinny jeans recently which is crazy but I just really hate them at the moment. <laughs> and it's also bad because I did try putting them on yesterday and I just couldn't wear them because they're just so uncomfy compared to like straight leg jeans or like all of these wide leg flowing trousers I've been wearing. Now I'm going to take Ember which is right at the end here and I'm going to put this in the centre of my eyelid not really showing up very well. <laughs> and then finally I'm going to take Lumber and just put this sort of next to where I just put that other sparkling shade. I feel like the lighting's gone really dark. I am just using natural lighting so sorry about that and I think it's about to rain so that's probably why it's gone really dark. <laughs> I'm going to take the black, I'm going to take this black from one of my Stila palettes and I'm just going to put this really close to my lash line. Um, I don't like using um, liquid eyeliner anymore, I just think it's a bit too harsh for my skin and 
black eyeshadow just blends out so nicely and it just looks I just think it looks a lot nicer on me personal preferences though plus it's so quick <laughs> like I'm done now <laughs> I'm gonna give my lashes a good little curl and then the mascara I have been loving at the moment is this Dior Dior Show Pump and Volume um, mascara it's really cool you can like pump it the bottom um, <laughs> oh why is this another door Sorry about that, I just had to go and answer the door. I think I just explained which mascara this was. But anyway, I'm going to pop it on. I don't know if you can hear the girls, they're talking in the, in the hallway. I also just spend a lot more time just working on my mascara, like actually getting into the root. And I see such a difference in how it turns out. Mm, I love this mascara so much. It's not the easiest to do on the bottom lashes, to be fair. Like, it's hard to reach close to the lash line. Then finally for lips, I'm going to use the Ink Credible Matte My Day Liquid Lip Paint in the shade... Uh, throw it back. Ooh. Actually, no, I don't want to do this colour. <laughs> for lips, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick. This is so perfect for like a smoky eye look like this. It's just a perfect sort of pinky nude. And that is my finished makeup for today. I haven't worn this much makeup in a long time um, because I've just been doing like really quick makeup to get to like uni or just to sit and do work all day. Um, so it feels nice to be wearing some more makeup for once. I'm gonna take these little clips out of my hair. Oh, cute man. Gonna put some backcombing in my hair. I have a hair related video coming out next week, hopefully. Um, so get excited for that. Um, I'm gonna have a lot more hair related videos coming this year, so I'm really excited about that. Hair stuff is something I love filming. Um, and you guys seem to love watching them as well, so. Yeah, excited for that content to come out. I'm gonna sit and answer a few more questions that you guys have been asking me because I'm really bad at talking and doing my makeup. <laughs> Someone's asked me any tips or tricks on how to keep your skin so flawless. <laughs> well, it is not so flawless at the moment. I actually have quite a few spots that are just like around the like edge of my face. And then my nose is really weirdly dry. Um, I just don't know what's going on with my face right now. But something I always say and preach about is keeping your skincare routine simple and minimum amount of products and don't try out loads and loads of different new products all the time because that always just messes up my skin a lot. Um, tips for self-confidence. <sighs> I don't really have that many tips for self-confidence. I wouldn't say I'm the most confident person. Um, I think if you're not that confident, just embrace being not that confident. Um, I find it so hard to like be super confident. Like some days I just won't want to leave the house because I'll be like worrying about what people would think about me and I go red really easily still. So I'd say my main tip for self-confidence is to just dress how you feel comfortable go out with friends if you don't feel comfortable going on your own um, just build up that confidence of doing little things like go out and do a food shop on your own and come back and like be proud of doing like little things like that and one thing I know a lot of people say to do which I also think is a good thing to do is say yes to a lot of more opportunities um, I'm trying to push myself out there and just do a lot more um, and like last year I would never have thought I'd have the confidence to go to an internship interview and like actually be at the stage where I'm ready to have an internship and live in London for like three months but I do feel ready for it I think a lot of self-confidence comes with time so don't worry if you're not confident because it's not the end of the world no one has to be uber confident um, I'm finding a lot more that I'm I'm a very quiet person and it's okay to be quiet like not everyone has to be loud and talking all the time so yeah that is my advice just embrace who you are and don't worry about being 
uber confident like everyone wants to be more confident I feel like um, and you just have to find little ways of making you feel more confident and for me that is like going out to the shops on my own and doing my own little thing um, and yeah I just think it's independence is something that is quite a big step um, so you just have to take it in little steps and just be aware that not everyone is confident like they may seem confident but inside they're not always confident. Would you consider getting a fringe again and how does your hair grow so fast? <laughs> well my hair care routine is coming out next week. So the product that I have been using I think has been really helping my hair to grow a lot faster um, and I would not have a fringe again. Every now and then I'm like oh I'd love a fringe but then I remember how much like how much of a pain it was to just style it all the time and it would just it just wouldn't sit right and it was just so annoying. <laughs> what is your favourite thing to sew? Um, I would say my favourite thing to sew is probably a tailored jacket just because they are very satisfying to look at when you've finished and there are lots of different little elements in it um, that, you know, like a lot of work goes into it and when it's finished and then my least favourite thing to sew is probably trousers because they're just so hard to get right <laughs> and I hate doing flies. What are your favourite online stores? Um, I am trying so hard not to shop online at the moment. Um, like it's one of my little things I'm trying to do at the moment. <laughs> but um, I mean ASOS will always be my favourite. It's just so easy to shop and like the delivery is just so quick, returns are really easy. Um, where else do I shop? Online, Zara, Free People, those are probably the main shops I shop at online. Pull and Bear also is another one of my faves. I absolutely love your nail and lash range. Thank you. <laughs> Have you got any plans to expand the range or bring in new designs? No, sadly, there are no new plans to bring in anything new to that range that is something that was just I think it was just more like a one-off thing but yeah you can still buy them in shops um, but no there will not be anything new added to it if I do something new I think um, I would probably bring it out by myself instead of partnering with a brand although saying that I don't know I really enjoyed working with the brand but like I think it would be really fun to do something that I produce and put out to the world. What are your favourite pieces in your wardrobe currently? I might do a video on like my favourite things in my wardrobe so I'm going to skip that question and you guys can wait and see my fashion favourites but one of them at the moment is definitely this new pair of trousers that I've got from ASOS and they're like slightly tailored looking bright orange trousers. I'll put a picture up here. <laughs> I wore them when I met the designer Ashish for our new project and I just love them so much. Okay I think that is going to be it for today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you did and if you have any more questions that you want to ask me just put them down below and I will try and get back to you and yeah I will see you guys all in my next video which will hopefully be next week. <laughs> Not in two weeks time. So yeah I will see you guys next week for a video. <laughs> Bye!